what the U.S. government did so vindictively in forcing him to plead guilty to one count, even though had they just dropped the case, it would have been exactly the same thing because he's obviously walking out that same day, um, I think is extremely disturbing because what they were, of course, worried about is that they would be perceived as admitting that Julian's imprisonment all these years was wrongful, but that also it would, in a sense, send a signal in the future to would-be whistleblowers or publishers that have done what Julian did, um, that even the U.S. government acknowledges that there's no criminal liability. And that, I think, is the thing that concerns or should concern people who care about press, press freedom the most is what will the U.S. government try and exploit or extract as a message of precedent? There's no legal precedent to the plea bargain. Um, but there can be cultural or political influences on how the Justice Department treats future cases, on the message that is sent to other people who would want to confront the U.S. security state and blow the whistle on their secret crimes. 